Lucas Media. I got a request from one of my subscribers to see what I think about Devin Haney basically being stripped of the WBC belt. Devin Haney, who was the WBC champion at 140 pounds and former undisputed champion at 135 pounds, was ordered to, they ordered a purse bid for him to go up against uh, Alberto Pulio, I believe. And Devin Haney said he wasn't going to do it. So WBC Mauricio Suleiman told Boxing Scene on Monday that um, Devin Haney is the champion in recess and honestly that just basically means that you stripped uh pulio martin will be fighting for the vacant belt so Devin handy will technically no longer be champion at 140 pounds now honestly i see a lot of people online and it's just it's just funny <laughs> why do y'all hate Devin haney so bad i mean i have a i have a real idea why but i really hope that the people who don't like him in this chat I really want them to know why they didn't like Devin Haney. And don't say because of Ryan Garcia. Y'all been hating on Devin Haney. What it what is it exactly about him that you don't like? But I don't have a problem with if Devin don't want to fight and they take the belt from him, fine. Devin has been undisputed. Devin has been a champion at another weight class. And if he want to let go of the belts and fight Joe Schmo, then I mean, it is what it is, right? Y'all let other fighters do it. You let Floyd do it. You let Tank do it, so then why Devin can't do it? And again, I'm a fan of all these fighters. Let's call a spade a spade. You feel me? So no, I don't have a problem with Devin Haney giving up the belts. And, you know, clearly, whoever he's going to fight, he's going to be the A-side. So, I mean, hey. But honestly, I do think that Devin is going to wait at least take another, i say, six months off. Maybe having a tune-up fight, maybe. But he did say that he he want to get it back on with Ryan Garcia. I'm, I'm tired of... People in my chats talking about, oh, ooh, the Austrian didn't matter. No, it does. Look up, look up what Austrian does. I was arguing with somebody last night talking about that. And when I sent him the description of what Austrian is, don't nobody have nothing to say. But anyway, if Devin want to fight Ryan again, it is what it is. I don't think he should do it. You know, I don't think that Ryan, I think Ryan, nobody should, st everybody should stay away from Ryan because Ryan clearly is on the juice, but you know, his fans don't, don't nobody care. This is the first time in boxing history that don't nobody give a damn what you take because y'all hating him that bad. I think it's really because his father, y'all hate to see a father-son combination, especially somebody who black, but, you know, I think that's most of the reason why. But, yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with Devin getting up that belt. Listen, these sanctioned bodies, they do what they want to do. One minute, you know, you standing by somebody, you riding with them, the next minute you not, and I wouldn't be surprised the WBC, after – this fight for Devin Haney's vacant belt, they let Ryan, they, let, they make Ryan the mandatory, and then Ryan becomes WPC champion because that's what they really wanted in general, general. And this is just my opinion, but I won't be surprised by none of this. I also won't be surprised if Tank Davis moves up to 140 pounds to get the belt. And for those who are going to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all do remember when Tank Davis moved up to fight for the WBA regular title at 140 pounds. So don't be surprised if he move up to get that, try to get that WBC strap because everybody wants that green belt. But we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I don't have a problem with Devin doing. Listen, man, if you don't want the belt, give it up. And, you know, I always say that if you're not a champion, you can fight whoever you want, you know. So, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.